Hi everyone, um, my name is Maria and I'm going to be your teacher, lecturer, uh, through this course of Near Eastern Archaeology. So my background in archaeology is that I have a BA in Near Eastern Archaeology and I'm studying Near Eastern Archaeology at master's level at the University of Copenhagen in Denmark. And currently I'm writing my thesis, um, so I will finish my master's here this summer. Uh, my interest areas are the pre-pottery Neolithic, children and human remains, and burial customs. Um, so yeah, I'm going to teach you a bit about Near Eastern archaeology, and we will um, begin back with the um, Epipaleolithic so and we will end up uh, with the Neo-Babylonians which is around 539 BCE so we'll cover 11,000 years of prehistory and history probably. Um, so when we talk about the Near East we talk about Anatolia, the Levant, so that is Lebanon, Israel, Palestine, Jordan, and Syria. And we also have Mesopotamia, Iran, Iraq, and then Egypt. So an issue, not an issue, but the thing is Egypt is a bit behind <laughs> in some of the periods. So for example, the Neolithic in Egypt begins much later than it does in the Levant, for example, or in the Levant, Anatolia and Mesopotamia. So um, I'm trying to plan out how to kind of um, get around that, but it will probably just be like two separate lectures, um, one on Egypt and one on the rest of the Near East. And um, yeah, so we're going to start out with Epipaleolithic, then we're going to move to the Pre-Pottery Neolithic, and, which is agriculture and first villages. And we're going to talk a bit about the um, collapse of the systems that we get in the um, Pre-Pottery Neolithic, then we move on to the Pottery Neolithic, so when they have pottery, pre-pottery, no pottery. And then we move on Pottery Neolithic to Pottery Neolithic and Calcolithic. Then we go to the Bronze Age, Iron Age, and as I said, end up in the Neo-Babylonian. So another thing about this course is that um, I'm going to teach what I've been taught. <laughs> so um, where I've been taught is Egypt um, and the, the whole Near East. But um, there's going to be um, around the beginning of historical times, uh, so with written records, it's going to be a bigger focus on Mesopotamia than on Anatolia and the Levant. And then um, Mesopotamia and Egypt has a very big connection uh, for many, many years. So they're going to be kind of intertwined. So the course is going to change a bit around sometimes, but it will be chronological. Um, and yeah, so as I said, I also have some experience with human remains. So... I was thinking of making an extra lecture on human remains, like how do we identify, how do we, like, what can we use <laughs> bones for in archaeology, and I'm not sure if there's any interest to this, but if there is, um, either write me, I haven't used Google um, Classroom before, but if you can write a message there if you're interested. Uh, please do and if you can't write it there I'll be sure to put my email my private email address in every uh, lecture so you can write me on that email if it doesn't work in Google Classroom yes and the course will be well I'm making an introduction video right now but I'm not very tech savvy and I find videos a bit awkward to be honest so um, I'll be 
making uh, written lectures. And then if you have any questions, again, write me either on Google Classroom or my private email and I'll make sure to like make a video because I think it might be easier to make a video where I answer all the questions than a written um, paper or piece of paper, written document, sorry. Um, I can maybe do both actually because then you'll have, have the answers written down that might actually be better. Well, we'll see. Um, and then every time we've done a lecture, there is going to be a task for you. So it might be answer a few questions or it might be write a two page essay. Um, and I will create some topics for you so you don't have to struggle with that. And there's an, another thing um, there's an issue of sources. So a lot of my sources I have available because I go to university. So I have um, a login for. A big database on the library but not all of you might have that um, I will do my very very best to find articles um, that are available free access for you guys um, I can't guarantee it and sometimes I might use different sources than what I put in the um, in in the lecture or in like the references because I might have some other available but I'll find something that will correspond to my sources for you. Um, of course I'm using books too and those are of course available to buy but that might be um, a bit expensive. So if you have a uni login that's great. Um, if you know someone who has one borrow it. <laughs> uh, that will be great. Um, yeah, so this is an introduction video just to say hello. And the first course, uh, not course, first lecture is actually just an introduction to Near Eastern archaeology. So basically covering the history of archaeology in that region. Um, exciting! There is not going to be a task on that. And you're watching this Monday, I presume? So the 20th of April, um, as I said, I'm writing my thesis at the moment. So I'm going to post the Natufian stuff on Tuesday. So you'll have like tomorrow to read the introduction and then Tuesday we'll uh, have the Natufian's uh, Epipaleolithic uh, Near East. So yeah i hope this will work out i've never done this before so uh, super awkward super fun uh, i hope we'll all learn something from this experience and please if you have any questions at all and um, if you have any comments on what could be done better please don't hesitate to write me and uh, i'm looking forward to getting to know you kind of and uh, yeah have a great day Bye.